Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Flamengo for our second leg in the uh, Brazilian Cup. Uh, we are playing away now to Santos after a 2-1 win at home. Uh, we went 1-0 down in the first half and then brought it back to win 2-1. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, keep that lead and win our first trophy in uh, Brazil. Uh, so the team, we have um, Bravo playing left back, who is a 30-year-old Chilean. So he came in because our other left back, other left back is a bit tired. Um, Cal Zada playing with Nascimento centre backs. Romario right back. Santiago plays defensive mid. While Junior and Garcia play centre mids. Guilherme on the right, Luzinho on the left, and Pizzini up front. So generally the same sort of team. Uh, hopefully we can go into this and win. We are playing going to play a counter this time though, due to the fact that Santos are favourites um, and are quite good at home. So and we are pretty bad away. That's the problem. So we're going to go on counter originally. Um, and see how things go, but yeah, it's going to be a bit of a hard game, I feel. Um, let's go straight into it, though. Okay, but yeah, so this will be pretty good for our first sort of silverware. We're currently third in the league. We drew with Cruzeiro 0-0, which means um, Gremio took a three-point lead at the top above us. So we've got two games to go, I think, until the end of the season. So hopefully we can try and pull something out of the bag. But I don't. I'm not too. Um... Oh fuck off! My God. One minute in, Perez scores. That's such bullshit. Wow. So they, they are 1-0 up, and they are winning it currently. It's from 30 seconds in. Really poor defending by us. We just can't seem to defend away from home. Um, but hopefully we can get back into it, seeing as they scored so early on. But um, they have the ball again, actually. Ortiz into the box. Oh, that's gone wide. I think we need to put it on high tempo. I've been thinking about this um, compared to the last game because they kept winning the ball off of us in the centre so if I put it on high tempo we'll sort of play a bit faster that just goes w wide by Ortiz they're dominating at the moment these first five minutes we haven't had anything look at that Luzinho though into Romario Jr into the box and that's Santiago 1-1 eight minutes in so that is um we're currently leading 3-2 uh, now so whew. So if they score now, it's going to be pretty. It's going to be level. So they need to get two more to win. If, it, if they score one more, we um go through to extra time and whatnot. But I don't want that happening actually. But they have the ball again. Paredes, Eduardo gets straight past our left back. Bravo, Ortiz, Gabriel Suarez, and yeah, it goes way wide. Happy for you to shoot from there every time. But after going down early on, really early on, hope hopefully we can hold out now. But they do have a lot of possession. Bravo. Into Santiago Garcia, cross to Valer, maybe that's cut out. Poor pass, but it's cut out again. But it falls back to Santos. Just keeps falling to them. It's really annoying. Headed out, Perez. Good save by Antonio. It just fell to them every single time there. Okay, they got another chance here. Eduardo, Enrique, into Ortiz. They're just playing it around so well. Daniel San Carlos, Diogo, but tackled by Santiago. Great tackle by him. Garcia, but he's tackled again in the centre mid. Our centre mids have been playing terribly. They just can't, they just get the ball and get tackled straight away. And Garcia seems to be injured here from that tackle, which is brilliant. Um, but we have been playing. Our centre mids have been playing pretty crap. And one of their player wins a header against two of our players there. Junior on the ball now, trying to play the ball through, but too far. Could have. Had a better pass there, and we could have been in, actually. But straight ball over the top. Paredes puts that wide. Should have scored, but I don't know what our defence was doing. My God, what is happening? We are really lucky at the moment not to be 2-1 down. Like, they are playing a lot better than us. We're just... Look at the ratings, generally. Like, we got that goal. That's all we've done this game. Look at that. Full straight back to them. Another chance for them here. Bruno Alexandre. Luis. It's Ortiz. Danielson Carlos. Oh, cut out by Nascimento, though. Great play by him. Romario into Garcia. Valerme into Pizzini. He's through. Go on. Luzinho, 2-1. We've snatched that. We are just... I have no idea how we've done that. Bloody hell. Valerme puts the ball through to Pizzini, who really should finish this himself. But comes straight to Luzinho, who seems to be the star of this final. Uh, in the first half, first leg and the second leg, it seems. Garcia on the ball. Santiago. But that means we're winning 4-2. Um, and then they have to score three to win due to away goals. But we're playing a ball round. They seem to be a bit um, shocked here. Luizinho into Pizzini. 
Oh, he really should have finished that. He's had poor final here, to be fair. He's been, he's been great so far, but we do need to bring in some new sort of attacking players and some defensive players, really, because this team needs a bit of a overhaul, I think, even though they are third. Diogo. And that's somehow not gone in yet. Oh, my God. How the hell has that not gone in straight before halftime as well? And Tony puts the ball up, headed on by Pizzini, but Santos get to it. Bruno Alexandre. Not before half time, please. Antonio with another save. We do not deserve this whatsoever. Ortiz with, with a wide ball, but Nascimento heads that clear. He could have countered there, but I think he's a centre back, so I don't think he would want to do that. Um, but bloody hell. Holy shit. We're so close now. We just need one more half and just keep it solid. Like, But I fear they're going to come straight at us in the second half. Because um, they have dominated. Like, I don't know how we're doing this. Look at the. Like, we're, yeah, they're dominating us. But hopefully we can hold on. Palermo, though, still in the ball here. He's got the ball in, but it's, there's no one in there. Um, okay, so, hold out for 40 minutes, come on. <laughs> okay, they have a chance, though, straight after I say that. It's, oh no, we have a chance, Bazzini, across to Romario, who's been very good for us. One of our, my favourite players, to be fair. But they've got the ball now, uh, with the goalkeeper. Plays the ball out to Eduardo, but it's headed, it's falls to them basically. Bravo with a good tackle though. Luizinho has the chance to count here, down the wing. Go on, puts the ball into the box. Pizzini, again, he just has been pretty bad. But he's showing his age here, I guess. He's just been pretty poor this um, these two games. Ortiz with a really close shot there actually. Uh, just goes past the post. Okay, so... <sighs> Let's see. I keep going. There's oh, half an hour left. They're getting. There's been so many chances. Like really, it's been ridiculous. Luizinho has a chance. No, falls to Camillo. Plays into Dilson Carlos. Out to Camillo again. Or Camillo. They're just playing the ball around really well. Into the box, but cleared by Nascimento. Great play by him. Pizzini doesn't win that, but Junior does. But it falls straight back to them again. Ortiz into Paredes. Carlos Fernando. Antonio with the save again. After this, I think we're going to um, make some changes. But they've got another chance straight away into Paredes. Ortiz with a, another good shot, and Antonio saves again. We have a chance here from corner, actually. Guillermo puts the ball into the box, about to Luzinho. Into Pizzini. Yep, that's it. He's off. He has played awful today. Again, uh, Paolo Ricardo is going to come on for him. Jose Carlos is going to come on for Garcia. Um, no, Santiago's played really well there, actually. Let's keep him there. But we're going to make two swaps now. Uh, Matias Garcia is going to come off because he's very tired. We're going to keep Guillermo on the right uh, and left. We're going to keep Luzinho because he's been man of the match for both games, to be fair. Um, okay. Let's keep going. 20 minutes to go. 15. Clock's running down for Santos. They need to start throwing lots more forward. So hopefully you can counter now. Junior. Oh, that's a corner for us, though. Um, Paolo Ricardo with another corner. Can he do the same? Put the corner in that scores from no Ortiz. A oh, good play by Romario again to cut that ball out and stop the counter there. Five minutes to go. They have a chance here from the corner. Originally cleared, and somehow someone's offside. I think, but that's ridiculous. Whew. Okay. Bruno Alexandre Nascimento clears. Bruno Alexandre again. Oh, it's Perez again. He's their star man. That's 2-2 two -two on the night. But even if they win 3-2, we go through on away goals, I believe. He's been really good for them. I want to look at him. 26-year-old. Oh, yeah, he's very good there. Mexican player. Um, Perez heads it on. Don't know what the defence are doing. Perez, it, um, Perez is open at the back post, but three minutes to go. They have another chance, actually. Okay, so something came up. But um, we got two minutes now left uh, a little bit got played on but nothing happened Danielson Carlos going into the, oh okay that's it Romario's oh no Romario's injured oh, star right back he's been injured from that tackle um, the problem is we don't have right backs that's the thing Canario's going to come on to there can Bravo play there he can play yellow let's go put him on right at the death as well really annoying there but looks like we're going to get the 2-2 unless they score 2 here Danielson Carlos Perez with the hat trick, but Ortiz puts that wide. And that's going to be it. 
winning the Brazilian Cup, my first trophy in Brazil now. Um, as we continue, and I win 95 minutes now. Bloody hell, that's come on, bravo, come this, come on. There we go, yes, Brazilian Cup winners. Brilliant. Um, that that was a real, real tough game. We did not look at that. Did not deserve that whatsoever. But we win the cup there. We've got two more league games to go, and then the the league is over. And then I can go into the next year and try and go for like qualification, not qualification. I mean, um, continental success. But there we go. Flamengo win the Brazilian Cup. We the board are happy with that. Zico. Um, Declares it a proud day because he is a legend for Flamengo. Um, no, Flamengo. Oh, I see. Oh, like lower, I guess. I don't know. We'll give him money for that. Um, Romario's out for two to three months. Brilliant. Oh, that's what. That's so bad. But hopefully, thankfully, it's the end of the season. Uh, if we look at now at my Hall of Fame, um, there I am. Five domestic divisions, nine cups, five other trophies. So. First one for Flamengo, 2023. So, um, we have uh, two games left of the season. And then next year, I don't know what's happening. But I'll update you somewhere. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's been Alex, and I'll see you guys later.